How are you doing? I hope you're okay. I hope you're not too bored. I hope you're hanging in there. Um, I watched all three of my uh, my most favorite shows, which is uh, Bridget Jones. I love that show. I've loved it since the first one. And I don't know if some of you know, Colin Firth, Mr. Darcy, has split up with his wife. Excuse me, Mr. Darcy. So anyway, listen, I got to tell you something. It was so profound. It was so profound. So last night, you know, I walked the dogs. It's so funny, but they got a backyard thing go in and out. But I walked outside with the dogs uh, so they would go pee. Because lots of times they like want me to be out there with them. I had another dog that did that too. So I'm standing out in the backyard and the stars were twinkling. Oh my God, I closed my eyes, I grounded, I was barefoot. And I kind of like reached out, you know, had my hands up and I could feel an unbelievable pulsation, almost like it felt like I was going in circles. I was diz kind of dizzy, but not sick dizzy, like I was feeling this vibration and this overwhelming sense of masses of angelic forms or whatever they are. And I just closed my eyes and said, tell me how I can help. Tell me how I can help. I said it over and over again. But the dog, Jack, was jumping up on me. Like, you know, I don't know if it scared him because my arms were open or he was seeing something, but he was jumping, was, which was creating my inability to concentrate. But it was, it was like I was losing human consciousness. It was almost like when I had that thing happen post breast cancer where I gave my life to the force and I said, you know what, you tell me. If I die, I die, if I live, I live, boom, boom. There was this high that I got and I couldn't sleep or eat. And if I can't eat, you know something's up for two days so um and then the gift came on but it was still more work after that so uh yeah whoa that was so cool so we have some things to tap touch bases with i i'm not going to angel heart today i'm reading from home and um today and tomorrow which is kind of nice because i can relax until it, i start reading at 11 a.m all right so anyway the first thing we need to ask, besides what's going on with the virus, but is Burr Enhoff Loeffler, who's the new one in town, whose husband is chair of the New York Stock Exchange, and Senator Feinstein, who I love. And she was my senator for many years. And I don't understand why she got involved with selling stocks. So I think Loeffler sold the most and also they they bought stocks that had to do with what's gonna happen with this virus because word was out. So I'm sure more are coming up, you guys. So let's take a look. So somebody wrote on Twitter, well, watch them go after Feinstein, you know, but they don't wanna bring attention to it. See, if they go after Feinstein, then the rest of them are gonna say, cool, let's go ahead and throw these guys in too. So I just want to take a look, see. Remember I kept seeing rats jumping off the ship. And if Feinstein did this and knew better, I would be very upset. But she'll have to pay the price with the rest of them. She, I think she has an explanation. I'm not saying all, you know, if a Democrat did it, they need to go. Okay, so tell me what I can tell. Tell me what I can tell everybody about these 
people, are they going to be in trouble? Are they going to be in trouble? Burr knows he's in trouble. They're all kind of in a panic mode. I can feel that energy in my, my solar plexus, like, like they're getting hit and they're, they're frightened. Tell me about Ooh, it starts off with the tower. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So the tower. Oop, the firemen's is they're coming through. There's all the money that they exchanged. And now they're like, holy crap. We got caught. They're trying to grab their stuff or get rid of the information. Now, it's not going to happen right away, you guys. There's, It's like people are like, lock them up. But look at this. Here's the outcome. So it's not going to happen because I got the hermit in there, which means wait for it, wait for it. Could be because of this virus. We're getting ready to have a voting thing. So, yeah, it's going to happen, my friends. Now, let's take a look at Loeffler. Apparently, she was put in from Georgia. Let's see if she makes it for another term. Will Loeffler make it for another term? Have you guys been watching those those news announcements that uh, the, 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 the group that does works on this virus since <laughs> they're always and the president he the master of the house pointed us in the right direction hey, this guy Trump has no clue what he's doing okay tell me about Lopez. he just blamed the media too. The same guy that used to call and, and disguise his voice to talk about himself and how good he was in bed. He, who, who needed the media to do that? Tell me about Loeffler. What's the outcome for her especially? And her husband is chair of the New York Stock Exchange. I'm almost feeling like he'll have to step down almost immediately. I feel like they're saying, dude, mm -mm, you got to go. You're causing drama here. Oh, and then I hear him say, if you, he warned other people. It doesn't matter. He has to step down. He might, I don't know if he'll tattletale. I feel him having to step down. So there were two peas in the pod. He liked the fact that his wife was there because he could find not good, you guys. Ten of Swords. They're going to start getting hit. And I mean hit and hit. They're going to be worried. The money is reversed, so they're, they're, they're going to get hit. I don't think she's going to get back in for another term. That's her walking away. It's like she blew it, you know. She didn't go the righteous path, so now she's going to have to pay. She was so happy when she got it, too. It's so stupid. It's just a stupid move. See, the thing is, you don't want to start doing anything with them now because Trump will kill it. You know, the DOJ just said, you know, to drop all charges against Russia. Let's see what, about that, too, by the way. The DOJ has announced that they're not going to, what Mueller had put in about these Russians, they're not going to uh, pursue it. So will the Russians ever be, somebody just said, well, the thing is the American people really do know, except the Trumpsters, but the American people know. There's going to be stuff I see. You know what I see? I see someone hoeing up ground and like pieces of stuff coming out. And it's like, even like an archaeologist with the brush, like they're finding stuff that got buried. So um, that's going to happen for sure. That I can guarantee you. Tell me about the DOJ and Russia. And then I want to I want to look real quick at China. Uh, I don't know why I have this feeling about China. Okay, DOJ. DOJ. DOJ and Russia. So anyway, I went and got gas today and I didn't see a dime less at the at the gas station. And I don't believe gas has gone up, so. 
That always happens. When it goes down, it takes them a long time to reflect it at the pump. But when it goes up, it's like up in, uh, the next day. Okay. There's Russia. Yeah, Russia's got their feet in here. Pelosi's going to have something to do with this. Pelosi's going to get in there and start... Here's Trump in the house. Here's him toasting with Russia, kind of making things happen. Russia's getting ready to lose a lot of money themselves. Russia's getting ready to get sick too. You know, they're not, they do have wide open spaces, but they're not gonna tell people what's going on. But I see a lot of money flowing out. Maybe it's from the, from the oil prices going down. But um, Pelosi will bring this forward again. Not till October or November. So she's going to start, somebody's going to write about this. Somebody's going to say something. She's going to be reviewing it. And then when the new president comes in, she'll, she'll, uh, she'll start something with this. Okay. Now tell me about China. Cause I really think, I really think China hates Trump. I'm just curious because he's calling it the China virus and all that. I, I I really think they're doing something just like Iran. Remember I picked up Iran? We don't want a fake voting thing. We don't want them to interfere with the vote. And let me tell you something. They don't have to. I don't care what Russia does. This president is going to lose big time if he's not gone before then. And I see him sulk. And remember the thing I had with the tomatoes being thrown? It's because the American people are done already. So it could be people lose a lot of stuff. I'll take a look at the stock in a second. So tell me about China. Tell me about China. Oh, that incident last night was profound. I felt like I was tapped into total universal consciousness and I could probably ask any question and get the answer. I'm gonna do it again tonight because it was so cool. But I was like, it was weird. <laughs> Somebody just laughed at me. Okay, sorry, but it was weird. Now, tell me about China. China will eventually come out of communism. I don't know why they're saying that, but I heard that. They're going to come back even more powerful, but they're also going to be a less restrictive with their people. It's communist, but it's not going to be as overwhelming. I don't know why I'm telling you guys this. This is what I'm hearing. But they are eyeing Trump and they are trying to come in through the back roads to do something up to screw up Trump. Well, that's interesting. Tell me about China. Tell me what you want me to know about China. I feel like whoever the new president is will be able to work with China really well. No back backroom deals. They're just so glad he's out of there. That's what I'm getting. Now, there is some evil with China. Okay, we know that. Some oppression. Not evil. Oppression. But China is actually going to get stronger and they're, they're, they feel like they're going to be more generous, kind of you know, like if we have go through a huge earthquake, they, they're sending money. It just feels, it's a little bit stronger. Uh, they are trying to buy us out, you guys. Why am I getting that? I'm feeling like China is busy buying over here, buying properties and stuff. The thing is, if you remember the Japanese, poor Japanese, because of the war, they lost everything. The Americans just went in and took everything because they were Japanese. But I don't see America taking away. The Chinese are, we're, we're intertwining. We're, we're immersing, immersion. We're, we're, we're coming in together. It's really weird. I could see China and America kind of like blending. This could be 20 years from now. And then I saw like we're in this wave. Like there's more stuff getting ready to happen. <coughs> but we'll look out for each other. That's what I saw. 
because they depend on us too. Okay, so now I told you before, I definitely did not feel that this COVID is a plant or was deliberate, but I was feeling sneaky and what now I realize what it was, it was being told people were knowing what it was and that gave them time to run to the bank and change out their... So in the meantime, your regular American are losing money. Don't think people aren't paying attention. Yeah, you got your usuals in different states. Some people are still going to church because they're saying, yeah, well, you know, what virus? So, uh, but trust me, a lot of these back roads places think they're invincible. And I see some places getting hit and very surprised about it. Very surprised. So, but let's look. And remember, I was feeling like it, 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 it almost feels Mother's Day. I'm feeling like we should have good news by Mother's Day. Things are going to start slowing down. The, pretty soon they'll have too, so many tests. A lot of good stuff will take place. Tell me what I can tell her about the virus. COVID. COVID. Julian Lennon posted, if you got him on Facebook, he posted some factual things. Good stuff that was coming up. And remember, I felt like we were going to come up with something to fight this. So, yeah, the cards. Hello. The outcome is success, and it, it's like the mother energy of the earth. It's not Russia. Um, it's, it's like people are like, yes. And it's so funny because the, the mother earth is here, but it does feel like it's. It's rather large place. They're going to make a lot of money off this, but at this point, we don't care. But we will have a vaccine. They're telling me never to go through this again. We will, and people will actually take the vaccine. You know how people fight? My family doesn't want to do the flu shot. I do it automatically. But people will decide they want to get, they want to be prevented from ever getting this. <coughs> Sorry, now I'm. My nose is a little runny too, but. Okay, so China, I did the DOJ, I did Burr. Now let's look at our favorite person. How's, uh, how's he feeling? What's he, look, he's looking around him. You know, after he got off where they didn't, he was impeached where they didn't remove him. His cards were really good. Like he was, he thought he was king for a day. That's when he started, you know, being cruel to other people. And let me tell you, and he demands respect and he demands that you treat him nicely. And let me tell you, people have not forgotten. I'm telling you right now. So tell me about, tell me about Orange Crush. Sorry, all of a sudden I got a tickle. I think I got a little. It's a beautiful day, you guys. The sun is shining. The Wheel of Fortune. So he thinks the fate is against him. Justice is coming. Justice and truth is coming for him. Yeah, he's, oh, ho, 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 ho. Ding dong, ding dong. So he really thought he was all that in a cup of tea. He is going to lose so badly. It's almost like he goes quiet, like he just curtained down. Like he's like, I see them destroying evidence. I see them doing everything they can. I see that they leave the, the, the White House in a mess. Even Barr is going to do illegal stuff. But Barr is not healthy. I don't know why I keep getting that on him. But let me tell you, they will come down. The universe is going to stand in justice. The universe is cleansing right now. It's cleansing this, this thing we call Earth. And it's making people look differently. Because if you think about this, you guys, I moved in this house three years ago. And um, within one month of living here, we had the horrible fires. 
and where uh, I think the highest death rate. And uh, my son and I went out in front of the house. It was 70 mile an hour winds and you could see the flames on the hill down from us. And I just thought, my God, it was like Armageddon. So I've been living here with three fires, with uh, losing power. I've thrown out so many, so much groceries. I still have this thing now that, uh, you know, I don't want to buy too much because you know how they say people are hoarding because Sure enough, no sooner get myself settled than PG&E decides to shut the power off just in cases. So it's like, whoa, I hate to waste all that food. But um, people are frightened. People are really, really scared. People are they have mortgages to pay and rent to pay and, you know, just to get food and everything. So so they're, I guess they're going to call retired nurses in. So if they call, I will go. Um, New York did. I don't know California well. Because they still hold on to my nursing license. I'm so out of touch though. But you know what? It don't hurt to go down and just, you know. I know I used to work in the operating room. I definitely know sterile technique. So it's just really sad. Okay, so universe. We know that all this happened for a reason. And we know this too shall pass. We know this. And thank you for the Mother's Day hit. We'll see. I could be totally wrong. But when I get a hit from them, it's usually right. Oh my God, yesterday was so fantastic. Tell me about the outcome. What are we going to be looking at? Tell me if... You know what I saw, you guys? And I think this is Roosevelt that's telling me this. There's an adjustment. It's not as bad as the Great Depression. But there's a financial adjustment. People are trying to rally. And it's almost like there's going to be something called, like, the New Deal. I see them taking the youth of our country and training them. And, like, everybody should have a job. Everybody should be able to make money. What can I do? And people will have a living wage. L listen, this new administration is coming in. It's going to change things up. So tell me what I can tell. And everybody will be able to have insurance. That's what I just heard. If you can't afford it, you get it for free. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Oh, thank you. So it's like we're back at the drawing board. We're going to review. We're going to get ideas. We're going to, in the next seven months, we're looking, and especially when this new administration comes in, although we're burdened, we're going in the right direction because the wands mean a movement in the right direction. And although we're burdened, we're going to figure it out. The judgment is here, so it's like we've been judged. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to tell you that I definitely, since the Ten of Pentacles is in the house, it, there'll be such good well-being and even more money in our pockets. And I don't know why I'm saying this, but it's like we're going to even it out. We're not going to be communists, but it's it's they're going to start shorting the, the rich to having so much money. I don't know what that means. Or, you know, they'll decide, like right now, I guess, Bezos, I'm not quite sure, you know, has doubled their amount of pay and he's hiring. But, you know, he should have done that earlier. It's just when people start making money, they get... That's why when I do this, you guys, I have a pension. I don't... If I, if I don't work, I can still m pay my bills. Because of my pension, unless they, you know, Alameda County decided not to pay pensions anymore, but I can still survive. So this money is extra. That's why I give so much away to, you know, anybody that's running against McConnell, Lindsey Graham, any president I gave to all the, to Amy, to Bernie, to Biden. The only problem is when you give money. You're on their list. And I, so I use a separate email so I can, because they will hit you, hit. Oh, and it's always, the, there's an emergency. Linda, they try to make it very personal. Linda, we really need to talk to you. Linda, we really need your help. That guy that's running in, uh, what's his name? I kind of, he's kind of cute. 
Is it Montana or Wyoming? You know, the big guy? He was running for president, I think. Um, he's running for Senate. Yeah. I I was given to him till he dropped out. So, okay. So, listen. Don't lose hope. Things are going to get better. And then we're back at the drawing board. And listen, this thing with him, Trump, stopping the things that would have helped us, that will change. We're going to get some ironclad stuff in there. And also, we're going to change how much power the president has because of what happened with him. Except the part that we start removing all the judges. Because remember, I told you, I saw everything Trump touched be in reverse. And they can say, you can't do that. Oh, really? Well, your president did things that w weren't on the books that he said he didn't have to give us his tax returns. But you know what? You said he could because he's president. He can do anything he wants to do. So as soon as whoever the next president is, he's going to get in there and he's going to, he's going to. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, Kavanaugh. We're going to have a little hearing on Kavanaugh, too, by the way. He lied to Congress. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, I'm so excited. You guys, it's going to be cool. So I'm so sorry about this part. I know it's so hard to hanker down, but just know it's actually kind of good that we're, we're, we're hankering down. But this devastation with people's livelihoods and jobs, I'll start looking more closely at that in my next reading. Let's get a real good, let's let, let's have our guides help us, tell us what exactly we're supposed to do. I do think they're going to be really firm on no evictions and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I'm so excited. Okay, you guys, I'll talk to you later. Ciao.